Hi, I'm Nathan Bierma. I'm the Educational Technologist here at Calvin Theological Seminary. My role here is to work with teachers and students to ensure that technology contributes to good teaching and good learning here at the seminary. One major technological tool we use is, of course, our Learning Management System, or LMS. We've chosen Canvas as our LMS, and we want to tell you a little bit about why we chose this and what features it has to offer. We also want to show you around so you can see for yourself. A lot of LMS options that are out there that we've used and that we looked at are rather antiquated, even cumbersome and confusing to use, and they throw up roadblocks in the teaching and learning process. We wanted to choose an LMS that would serve our professors and students well by providing a good user interface and integrating easily with other web tools that would enhance our teaching and learning here at the seminary. So see for yourself, see what you think. Uh, let me know if you'd like to know more or have any other questions. We hope you like what you see and are interested in distance learning here at Kelvin Seminary. Let's take a look. When you enter Canvas, this is what you'll see. Your main page is a stream of recent activity for all your courses. This includes recent discussion comments, assignment alerts, notifications, anything that's been happening recently. Along the right side is a to-do list and coming up list that helps you stay on track of your work. You can enter an individual course to see a stream of activity just from that course. One of the best ways to get an overview of a course in Canvas is modules. When you click on modules, you'll see these containers that contain all the items for a weekly lesson. This might include readings, might include content such as a video presentation, discussions, assignments, quizzes, and so forth. This also shows the sequence or outline of online lessons that we're trying to use here at Calvin Theological Seminary. Engage, explore, apply, review. Engage is the initial encounter with concepts or an author. Explore is a deeper exploration. Apply is a connection to a real life situation in ministry, preaching, pastoral care. And review is both a review of key concepts and more open-ended reflection exercises before moving on. Let's look at the discussion interface, and here you'll see the main discussion question, students who have responded to that question, and an area for students to respond to each other. It's similar to the Facebook wall, and we think it does a good job of showing the conversation flow. Canvas gives you a lot of options for ways to submit assignments. Here you see all of them. You can upload a Word doc or another file from your computer. You can type your assignment directly into this box. You can give the URL of a blog post or another website. You can import a Google Doc. And you can even record or upload an audio or video recording. You just hit Submit, and it shows that your assignment has been submitted. Canvas also gives you a calendar that shows all your upcoming assignments in all your courses, color-coded, and you can export that calendar feed into your Google Calendar or smartphone so that you can stay on top of deadlines. So that's just a quick look at the Canvas interface. I hope you like what you see and will want to know more, especially about how we're using Canvas here at Kelvin Seminary.